change. What's up, YouTube? And I'm back with another video. As y'all know, I took the, the 6 0 I took the 6 0 to the uh, machine shop. They called me today. I'm gonna go over there and uh, hopefully he let me film and show y'all exactly what, what went on. But uh, it's not that bad. Uh, cylinder four is where we had the damage. So cylinder uh, piston on cylinder four is uh, is uh, bent. So what he told me, he said I can go get a used piston rod and uh, and all of that, or board board over thirty or whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up here. I'm taking y'all with me. I'm gonna go up here and see what's going on. Hopefully he let me film and uh, tell y'all, explain y'all exactly what's going on. And if I can do some upgrades, I might go ahead and do some upgrades and bore it out, whatever. It, bore it out or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take y'all with me in a minute, man. I'm, when I get here, I'll cut y'all back on. I'm out. Now, this is the block right here. This 6 0 block. And they did confirm that it was cylinder four. They had the bent rod. Oh yeah, we finna put another cam in that bad boy. We might well gonna put another cam in it and some springs. We're gonna ask him what we can do to make some more power out of this thing. Yes, sir. Uh, shoot, I wanna make some power. I ain't, I ain't gonna be no, just a hot rod, street rod. You know, I want to put another cam in it. I just wanted to be able to drive it down the track and still drive it on the street at the same time. Have a little fun Something with it. You're gonna have a little bit of fun with it. Yeah. Okay. I got a 75 Nova with a foil 80 mm -hmm. uh, and 373 gears, positive rear end, mm -hmm. 22 inch wheels. Mm -hmm. So I got a 5.3. I took took this out and put a 5.3 in there with a rust job. But it's originally- Oh, so it's still running. Yeah, it's still running. After this happens, I took it to a friend. I need a 5.3 because I was going to a, a car show and I had to tune it. So it was, and uh, it was just a bad luck, you know. Mm -hmm. But I do have a 5.3. I just said, you know what? I had to go back and get this six so I didn't want to lose it. Sure. And uh, bring it to someone. What, to, what we came up with is it's got the one bat rod. Uh-huh. And it's only got one to two thousandths taper in it. Uh-huh. So, I didn't know if you wanted to bore it or if you just want to, you know. What, what, what do you think? It? What do you think? If How I should drive the car. It's just a, a classic. Just a weekend type of thing. Yeah. Let me. You, you want to? You want to show me? Bore it? Yeah, show me. I'll yeah, show you pictures. And I haven't checked your crank yet, but I think your crank's going to be okay. Okay. So that's the only taper, which is which is this right here, the taper on up on this top one. Does that say? Two thousand. Two thousands, and that's two and a half thousand. Two and a half. One and a half. Okay. One and a half. Okay. You come over here, one, one and a half, two, and two. So is that out of range, or is it is it pretty good? That's within limits. Okay, all right, cool. Well, let's just re-ring it. Now, my question for you, do you, do you want to replace that piston yeah, that was to. on there? Got to replace it. It's not broke, and it oh, makes up good. We oh. just have to get another rod for you is what we got. Oh, let's get a rod. Okay. Yeah. So you you all right with that? Yeah. Okay. As long as it works. Because I mic'd it up and it's the same size as all the rest of them. Okay. Hey Jim, where did you where does pistons go? Around the cart. Over on the cart, okay. All right. All right, here we go. All right. That's your bad one right there. So yep. Yeah, that was cylinder four. See that? Yeah, that's why I had the leaking fuel injector. And then right there is the only spot that contacted the crankshaft right mm -hmm. there. Okay. I could just deburr that. 
Okay. As long as I can press that piston off without destroying it, we'll just put another rod on it. All right, cool. Okay. Had somebody been in this motor before? No. No? Okay. No. It was came out of a Silverado. It was running good until I had a leaking fuel injector. And, and that's uh, what caused your hydro line. Yeah. Yeah, I had... Uh, it was acting all funny on me when I put that... Uh, when I put that direct, when I put that truck intake on it, and uh, uh, it was uh, what when you was put, it? When you put the truck intake on it, did you you had injectors were still in that intake? Yeah, it was a uh, it was original intake for that. I I had a, a Holly sniper. I had a different setup on it. How come you changed it? Because I wanted direct injection. What did you have on it before? I had a, a Holly sniper. Body? Yeah, I had a a. a in, and fuel injected throttle body, Holly Sniper. Okay, and you wanted to go and back it was, to the end. It was the, uh, that other like uh, dual single plane intake kind of like deal. Mm -hmm. You and didn't like it? Once I went to school, I found out direct injection was better. It's so better I, than going through the, a throttle and body. And then I put the uh, electronic uh, pedal and everything on it, so. So it's drive by wire. Yeah, it's drive by wire. All right, you guys. I don't know what he did with the motor. Let me 